If you're tuning in, what I'm gonna do today is show you how to use Helium 10's black box tool to actually identify product opportunities. But on top of that, how to use Amazon's platform to do what I like to call horizontal product research to find hidden product opportunities. 90% of the products that I find to this date are using this exact method. Now, before I dive in guys, I wanna make sure that I give you a good understanding of what is a winning product in Amazon currently. I wanna make sure that I give you a good framework and criteria that we're gonna follow in order to find winning products to sell on Amazon. Number one, we're gonna make sure that it has high demand. Number two, we're gonna make sure that it has low competition. Number three, we're gonna make sure that there's opportunity to differentiate and build a brand directly on it because it's so damn important now to be able to do that while selling on Amazon and make sure that it's something that we're not gonna be able to get cut out on price. So let me dive into my screen now and show exactly how we're gonna do this using Black Box. All right guys, now that we are actually in the black box tool, one thing that I wanna mention is there's a bunch of different ways that you can actually do product research directly in this product research tool. One is through products, keywords, competitors, the niche or product targeting. The one that I like specifically is keywords because you are at the end of the day analyzing a market. In order to analyze a market, you need to understand what the actual keyword search term is for the Amazon database. So now that we're in keywords tab, what we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that we're finding products that are over 5,000 in search volume. We wanna make sure that we're finding products that are at least doing $5,000 in monthly revenue. You can go ahead and change this to whatever you like, but for sustainability for a business, make sure that consistently the first page is making well over $5,000. Price point, from a profitability standpoint, make sure that you're finding products over that $20 price point, and from an impulse buy standpoint, find products that are under that $50 price point, now for reviews, now this is something that I always like to flex a little bit on the higher end, specifically doing product research, but when we're actually making analytical decisions, we actually want to go ahead and make sure that we're finding products that are ideally under that 500 review count. For the purpose of product research, we're gonna make this as a thousand, and then we go ahead and actually use the X-ray tool directly on Amazon's search engine, which we'll show you directly in this tutorial today. We're gonna make sure that we're finding products under an average review count of 500, okay? From here, all we're gonna to wanna to do, go ahead and choose any kind of categories that you're interested in. Now, as a barrier to entry and for new beginners, the ones that I recommend are arts, craft, and sewing, home and kitchen, industrial and scientific, kitchen and dining, patio, lawn, and garden, office products, pet supplies, tools, and home improvement, sports and outdoors. Now, the reason why is a lot of these products don't require any form of additional hoops that you need to actually jump in through. And what I mean by that are things like restrictions, certifications, just products that have minimal liability, meaning the speed to market when you're finding that product is gonna be pretty quick. Now on top of that, I always like to make sure that I click the FBA column to make sure that the competition that we're versing are actually going ahead and making sure that they're fulfilling through the same method as us. From here, because we're in that $50 price point, I always like to make sure that we either have a small or a large standard size product. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is hit search on here and voila, as you can see, we're actually gonna be able to see a ton of different keywords that populate based off of our criteria. Now, one thing that I wanna mention is the data that's reflected directly on here, okay, is often very different than the data that you see directly on Amazon's search engine. And for that main reason, what we're actually gonna to wanna to do, guys, is take a look at this product on the search engine. And in order to do that, all we're gonna to wanna to do is hit actions, hit view on Amazon, okay? It's gonna search up the term directly in here, and then what we're gonna to wanna to do is run the X-ray tool, okay? We're gonna do X-ray Amazon product research, and then this is where we're gonna get very, very more granular and specific averages, everything from revenue, total revenue, average BSR, price points, average review counts, we can take a look at the search volume, uh, as well as the trends over a 30 day, 90 day, one year, all time trend, okay? Very valuable data when it comes to selling on Amazon, taking out the emotional aspect of committing to a product and relying on data is gonna help you minimize your risk and get you started without trying to lose money. Now, it's never gonna be an end all be all where, hey, every single product's gonna work out, but you can definitely take massive strides to make sure that you're doing everything you can to minimize that risk on the front end. Okay, so for the purpose of this example here, I'm gonna go through this specific one, Ziploc bag organizer for drawer. The first things that I like to do and recommend is actually making sure that we take out these sponsored ads. Why? 
they're paying to get a position on the search engine. And for that exact reason, for all I know, this person, as you can see right here, little track could have just launched literally a day ago and he is gonna be skewing our data like crazy. So we wanna make sure that he's coming off, right? We're gonna scroll down here, gonna take out all these additional sponsored ads, okay? Keep scrolling down, gonna take out all these guys as well because it's gonna reflect all of our total revenue or average revenue completely on this first page. We're gonna to wanna to do this, remove, okay? And then from here, the additional thing that I like to do is try to take out any outliers. We wanna ideally get data that we're gonna be actually able to compete with at the end of the day. So anyone over that thousand review count, ideally we're taking them out of the analysis because it might skew our data. So I'm scrolling down here. This guy has pretty high reviews, Space Aid. This guy right here also has some high reviews. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Those are some initial steps that I like to do. Now, what you can do is take a look at all of the data, everything from their BSR, their revenue points. You can take a look at their sales graph history. You can see directly where they're actually from. Are they from um, China? Are they from South Africa? Are they from the United States? And figure out what region they're actually selling from. You can see the review counts. You can see how much images they directly have. You can see the categories that they're in, the size tier that they're in, the fulfillment method that we are. All those initial things that we put into our criteria, we can actually look at it from a high level depending on a keyword that we have. The more important things, in my opinion, are all of these additional averages right here. Going back to what we were looking for, we were looking for a product that had an average revenue of over $5,000. We had an average price point of between $20 to $50. We wanted a review count under that $500 mark or 500 review count mark. So as you can see, this product is potentially something that I would maybe want to consider moving into an additional stage. Now that you guys actually know how to use the black box tool, now that you know how to use the x-ray tool, what I want to show you guys is that additional method that I like to call horizontal product research. One thing that I think is so damn important is not relying directly on a product research tool to find products. And like I mentioned, I find 90% of my products through this method that I'm going to show you directly. All the people that are looking to sell on Amazon, it's a hot commodity, it's a hot topic. We teach hundreds of people every single year in order to do the exact same thing. But we wanna make sure that we're a part of the 1% and not the 99% that are all only relying on these additional tools to find some hot and upcoming products. What we wanna do is try to mimic our success off of good brands. So what we're gonna to wanna to do here now is we're gonna go back into the screen. I'm gonna show you directly how do you find some of the top competitors for a keyword. Then we're gonna go ahead and look at their storefront and see what other products that they're actually selling. If you have a good brand that's doing well and that's absolutely crushing it, you can damn sure believe that they're gonna have other products that are also doing extremely well. So why not mimic their success, okay? Amazon isn't something that we have to reinvent the wheel for. It's something that we can copy, but do better of. All right, cool guys. So like I had mentioned, what we're gonna wanna do is actually go and find some of those top competitors that we directly have. Okay, there was somebody that had you know, a very, very high review count and we can assume safely that, hey, they're probably doing a really good job as well in terms of their revenue. So we're gonna scroll down here, it was Space Aid. So Space Aid, if we take a look at what they're selling, they're selling $320,000 for this product. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna directly go to their listing by clicking this here, okay? And I'm gonna go to their storefront, okay? And what we can actually see is a bunch of different products. So they're selling this, you know, wrap organizer. They're selling this water bottle organizer. They're selling these drawer dividers. They're selling this stovetop magnetic shelf with labels, spice organizer, so many different things. They've done obviously a phenomenal job building a brand that's, you know, bamboo related for one, but also two, helps you organize your home. Right, so what I would wanna do is, you know, this product right here looks very interesting to me. On top of that, it only has one rating, meaning they just launched this. What does that mean to us? It means that they probably saw opportunity in this product and they wanted to make some form of move on it. So what I'm gonna do now is identify that keyword. Let's say it's potentially stovetop magnetic shelf. It's usually that one sec or your first or second keyword directly in here. We're gonna go up to the search bar, search up all departments, search this up and boom. This pulls up a whole new search directly for us. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull up X-Ray again, and we can do another analysis on this. Instead of just using black box to find those products, we're now finding products horizontally and really going through the depth of Amazon. Okay, so right here, right out of the gates. You know, it looks like it's potentially a little bit competitive, so it could be selling for a while. It also looks like if I take out these sponsored guys here, let's take a look at the numbers in terms of how it adjusts. This guy's an outlier, this guy's an outlier. All right, let's take these guys out. 
boom, 560 reviews. So it's close to that 500 review count that we want. It's producing over $5,000 in revenue. Price point is at that $26. I'm like, damn, these potentially, this potentially could be a good product. But that doesn't stop there, guys. Why don't we go ahead and do the exact same thing now? Find somebody that's crushing it. So this guy right here, doing $41,000 with this product. We're gonna go ahead and click on this here. We're gonna go to their storefront and we're gonna see what other products that they have. They even have a best sellers product line, right? So if we click on here, they can see that they have actually a bunch of different variations of uh, this actual stovetop. But they also have this steel baking cooling rack. Maybe I wanna take this product now, search up stainless steel baking and cooling rack, search this up and pull up our x-ray tool. So you can do this infinitely, guys. You can go down this massive rabbit hole of finding products through all of the successful brands that are selling on Amazon. So as you guys can see, what you wanna do is use a product research tool like Helium 10 and go ahead and use that as your baseline. But then go and expand the market by finding your successful brands and seeing what other products that they're selling, whether they're new products that they potentially see as up and coming or their best selling products that we can actually identify the main keyword for and search up on Amazon and use X-Ray to go ahead and analyze that product. One of the keys to selling on Amazon is making sure that you're relying on data, but also the other key is launching more products. So one of the most fundamental rules is to make sure that you're always doing product research. Now, if you're looking to start selling on Amazon and you like this tutorial, I put together a step-by-step -step guide to show you exactly how to start selling on Amazon. You can click the link right up here. We'll see you guys in the next video.